Hi, this is Sunil and welcome to the video tutorial for the YouTube channel Learning Light on C programming. So, in this tutorial, we're gonna be seeing a unary operator called size of. The size of unary operator is a compile time operator and uh, it returns the length in bytes of a variable or uh, the data type. Now, for example, if we when we use a uh, integer variable in our program, in my system, it's gonna take four bytes in memory. So and the size of operator can be used to get the size a particular variable or a data type takes in memory in your system. So the size of operator is called a unary operator that's just because you know it just uh, operates on one operand and you can see here when you can uh, pass the data type or the variable name to this size of operator and you know it just returns the length in bytes of a variable and and also you know the data type specified using the parentheses so now we're gonna see how we can uh, use this size of operator in our program so first uh, I'll be creating a variable of type integer and I'm gonna call it as var next uh, I'll be using the size of operator to determine the length it takes in memory so I'm gonna be using the printf statement to print that out so I'm gonna be writing percentage %d here and next we need to you know use the size of operator so it's going to be size of then the variable name which is where here so another thing i want to teach you is you know if you are using the variable name with the size of operator you don't need to use the parenthesis i mean you can use this if you want but you know it, it is optional so if you are using the data type with the size of operator then you need to use the parenthesis you know it's must so first i'm going to save this one then uh, execute compile and run you can see here you know this uh, var variable which is of type integer is going to take four bytes in my computer so now i'll be using the data type here i'm going to be using the parenthesis and uh, the data type which is int and also i'm going to comment this one out save compile and run you can see here you know this integer data type is going to take four bytes in memory i mean a variable of type integer is going to take four bytes in memory similarly you can use this for uh, float uh, change that one to float and uh, compile and run you know four bytes and also for care save compile and run you can see here one byte so you know depending on uh, the data type and uh, the uh, length it takes in bytes in memory you know the size of operator just returns that one so now we're gonna see you know how we can use this uh, size of operator on an array so I'll be creating a array of variables which is of type integer uh, of around 10 and uh, I'm gonna use that one here so I'm gonna use the variable so it is var and also uh, just using this parenthesis you know you know which is optional so save this one compile and run you can see here it takes 40 bytes in memory that's because you know a single variable of type integer is going to take four bytes and in this var array we have 10 variables of type integer that's why you know 10 into 4 is going to be 40 you know 40 bytes in memory similarly for you know float care or any other uh, type of arrays so the last thing I want to teach you in this tutorial is about you know using the size of operator with a structure so first I will be defining a structure I'm using the struct keyword then uh, the structure name let me call it as student and uh, let me define the members of this structure so first let's have a variable of called uh, roll number next uh, we're gonna have a character array of type um, name and let me define a size of around 10 so I'm gonna save this one and I'll be using okay let's create a variable of type uh, this uh, student it's gonna be let's call um, anil and uh, I'm gonna be passing that anil variable here to this size of operator now you know this size of operator is gonna return the length in bytes taken by this variable anil you know which which is a structure variable so execute compare and run you can see here 16 
okay hold a minute we're gonna count that you know this integer is gonna take uh, four bytes so it's gonna be four then this character type is gonna take one bytes and uh, we have a character array of, of size 10 so it's gonna be 1 into 10 which is 10 plus 4 14 but you know we are getting 16 here that's because when we use structures in our program the compiler is gonna do structure alignment so the structure alignment is nothing but the ability of the compiler to insert the unused memory into a structure so that you know the data members are optimally aligned for better performance so you know just for the performance issue the compiler is gonna add some uh, unused memory to the uh, variables and uh, you know make it uh, suitable for you know faster read and write operation that's why you know the compiler adds some additional bytes to the members of the structure that's why you know we are getting the size of 16 the next thing I want to teach you is you know what is the use of this size of operator it helps us to generate portable code that depends upon size of the built-in data types suppose uh, if you want to generate a portable code then uh, you know sometimes you need to know the size of data types which will be taken in memory so that's why you know at that times we can use this uh, size of operator and also the size of operator is used to allocate memory dynamically using the malloc and the other functions so we, I'm gonna be explaining that one in uh, the tutorial about the malloc so this is it guys this is about the size of operator in C thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel I'll see you in the next tutorial